Pacific. The Anglican Church in Aotearoa, New Zealand and Polynesia in 2015 publicly declared these words. We choose to fight climate change rather than drown, urging collective and immediate action to mitigate the worst effects of climate change with a universally binding agreement. A story of one of those drowning places is here. Pungai Motu, nestled in the Tongatapu Islands of Tonga. Archbishop Emeritus Winston Halapua shared this story. The areas that I walked and fished as a boy with my father, seeking food for our family on the island of Pungai Motu, have now gone. The rising sea level speaks loudly for action and for some of us in Polynesia the truth is very real. Our land and our livelihood are drowning and others refuse to see it, he said. How can we tell our grandchildren the home they were to inherit has been destroyed? Pungai Motu Local residents have tried to create a protective barrier around the island by planting mangroves along the coastline, but the ocean is winning their battle. Some of the mangroves were starting to grow, but it would be a long while before these small saplings could offer any protection for the island. Sandbags too have not been enough. Palm trees now bereft of the long green fronds that adorned their crest. Drinking water being boated in and crops to harvest nowhere in sight. Our province continues to appeal to its global networks to consider how their collective efforts in sustainability is still not enough. Equally, at each sitting of Synod, our province has intentionally locked into often difficult discussions on how to improve our own efforts. We have viewed our ongoing investments in the fossil fuel industry to be contrary to the Church's missional goals of the care of creation and social justice, and contrary to its responsibilities and commitments as an ethical investor. Concerned that there were still fossil fuel investments in several of our Church investment entities existed. We moved that there be a requirement that these bodies assess whether they had any fossil fuel investments in their portfolios, and if they did, they were to develop plans to divest them and report those plans to the provincial governing body frequently. In light of this, the province's commitment for close to full divestment by 2020 was realistic. That report is yet to be submitted. Joining the government's plan for zero carbon emissions by 2050 is ongoing. A framework to enhance resilience to climate change and disasters by 2025 is the development of taking climate action into our hands. These include technological, theological and philosophical components that articulates the Māori and Polynesian concepts of mātauranga, education, whanaungatanga, collective, kaitiakitanga, good stewardship, and manakitanga, care for others. Pungai motu, we know that human activity has upset your delicate balance of physical and ecological systems upon which all life depends, and that humanity is beginning to reap what it has sown. We recognise that it's up to us to take action rather than drown. We know that it's up to us to divest fossil fuel investments. We acknowledge that it's up to us to advocate for global change on your behalf. It's up to us as God's people to fulfil our promise to be morally and ethically mindful of our environment through our actions, words and deeds. It's up to all of us. The Anglican Church of Aotearoa, New Zealand and Polynesia has declared this. The earth is God's gift to humanity and to all creatures. We forcefully reject the notion that our being created in God's image 
and given dominion over the earth justifies absolute domination over all other living things. As humans endowed with reason, we are not the controllers and possessors of nature, but its servants, just as we are servants of each other and of God. Jesus calls us to love our neighbour and in the same spirit the needs of islands like Pungai Motu, who are acutely vulnerable to climate impacts. We give thanks for the gifts in creation for our world, land, its beauty and its resources. Keep us from being content with things as they are and that there may come a creative compassion a thirst for justice and a willingness to give of ourselves in the spirit of Christ. Amen.